Hi guys, this is Sue Reynolds. Some of you know me as Hot Paws on the Yahoo groups. Anyway, I wanted to show you today about layering. Somebody had asked this question earlier about how to change their cutting order. So you have to kind of understand layers in order to kind of get the concept of cutting order. So the first thing I wanted to teach you is the first thing created is the bottom layer. The bottom layer is the number is labeled number one and it cuts first. The last thing created is the top layer and the top layer in these drawings is number four. So now let me get rid of that and now I have four items on the page and if you want to display your cutting order go into select shape order display object order. And you can see there I have objects ranging from 1, 2, 3 to 4. And they are layers. And in the cutting menu, the cutting menu will show you where and how they're going to be cut. Number 1 is the blue, 2 is the green, 3 is the spade gray, and 4 is the heart out of the cutting menu. Now these are set up in layers. Now layer number one is the bottom layer. And then when you're beginning your whole drawing it's the very first layer you create. So the first thing you create is the bottom layer and that layer is number one. So I created this first. Uh, but you want the heart to cut first. But let me show you a little more about layers. Here is layer number one. And layer two goes over that. Layer 3 goes over that. And this layer right there. You can rearrange your objects and how you want them to cut on your screen, but sometimes it's just easier to rearrange your cutting order and rearranging your layer order. Now, the layer order can be changed by going to the Select menu and the last four little icons up here in this little block and this first icon is move shape to the farthest position. Second one is move shape to the closest position. Third one is move shape one position farther and the fourth one is move shape one position closer. Today it's these two that I'm going to focus on. Move shape to the farthest position and move shape to the closest position. Now I want number one to be the heart to cut first. So I'm going to select the heart and I am going to go up to the move shape to the farthest position and select it. Click off the design and now it's now one, two, three, four. It's as simple as that. Go back into your cut and here's your control panel and now you've changed the order. One, two, three, and four. Get out of that screen. Now suppose you want to show in a different order you actually wanted to cut them this way and create something else. You can make those layer in a whole different way. Now the first layer is again the bottom layer is going to be the one that cuts first. You actually don't want to cut that one first, or you can, whatever you want. But I would prefer my blade to go this one, this one, this one, and this one. And you can change orders all you want. One way to change orders is to start by starting this one off. And a way to do that is to take this one and go up to move shape to the farthest position, select it move shape to the farthest position, select it, and you notice they're supposed to be changing here, and move shape to the farthest position, and then again move shape to the farthest position. And now what you've done is created cut number one, two, three, four. Go to the cut menu and it shows you 
that the cutting order is now the gray spade, the green diamond, the red heart, and the blue star. Out of the cutting menu, you can change order by that way. By doing that, 